What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you are already part of the fam, hello, how are you? And thank you for your continuous support. So you clicked on this video because usually your face is just a mess in the fall, okay? It's dry, it's flaky, and you really don't know how to combat that dry skin. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my routine on how I keep my skin hydrated and still flawless, okay? Yes, so I'm not actually showing you guys how I did my eye makeup, but honey, fret not because this eye makeup look is coming for you, boo. Okay, so please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification if you don't want to miss how I achieve this eye look. But let me stop rambling and let's go ahead and get into how I got this flawless beat. All right, so let's stop your fall foundation from sucking, okay? I am definitely in the dry skin category when it comes to fall and winter. So I wanted to come on here and help you guys, you know what I'm saying? Get your face not only flawless but hydrated in the fall so that, you know, you won't compromise the health of your skin while you're beat, while you're slain. So one step to make sure that you do is moisturize before you even begin your makeup. So what I put on is an oil. So I know it's going to keep my skin nice and hydrated underneath all of the other moisturizing products that I'm going to put on top of it. And let's pause because I need to moisturize these lips, honey. Okay, can't be looking crusty out here. Okay, can't be looking crusty. Okay, so the next step I like to use is some type of spray that's going to hydrate my skin. So right now I've been loving my Smashbox Primer Water. So I'm just going to spray some of that on. And then to add an extra layer of moisture, I'm going to spray some rose water. Now, rose water is really, really moisturizing, okay? For example, if you have a very powdery foundation routine, if you spray some rose water on top of it, honey, it's going to be dewy, okay? And so that's what you want in fall. You want your skin to be dewy, but you don't want it to be oily, okay? We are going to spray some of this on there. And I like to get it on there, okay? You see my face? It looks just moisturized. You know, if you look up moisture in the dictionary, it will be my face by moisture. So I'm just going to let that soak into the skin a little bit. And so we're just going to fan, you know. And I don't know if you can tell, but my skin, it's not really wet anymore. So that's just how hydrating, I would say, that's the rose water, you know? The rose water is going to hydrate and it's going to stay hydrated. So it's going to provide that layer of moisture on your face. One of my favorite facial primers that I love using is this Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. And you guys, it is really, really good. I want to use a little bit more of that and so I'm going to be using two pumps for the face. And we're just going to massage that into the face very, very well. And you want to make sure that you pay attention to the areas that you are more oily and the areas that you have a little bit more blemishes. And that's just something that I like to do because I feel as if, if I concentrate in those areas a little bit more, then my makeup is going to stay on longer and just look fresher longer as well. And I also put them on my brows, honey, okay. All right, so I pulled you guys in a little bit so you could just see up close because we are going to be getting into the foundation. Now, if you watch any of my other makeup tutorials, then you know that there's a step that I usually do after my primer, okay? And if you know that, 
leave me a comment below but I'm not going to do that today and I'm going to jump right into my foundation now when you are looking for your skin to be hydrating of course you want to go with a hydrating foundation but you also want something that's long wearing as well so today I'm going to be mixing two foundations one that is definitely moisturizing and then the second one that's of course long wearing those foundations are going to be my NARS natural radiant long wear foundation and then the second one is going to be my super stay full coverage foundation and honey let me just tell you this combination will not disappoint so I'm going to go ahead and give that a nice a little shake and I'm going to pump that on the back of my hand and I'm going to do about three pumps and then for the super stay I'm going to do about a pump and this pump is a little bit more giving so one of the super stay pumps is about two of the NARS pumps okay so we did about a three to two ratio I'm just going to mix that up with my finger and just tap all over And then I'm using my favorite brush to blend out with. And this is my Real Techniques brush. And this is a expert face brush. And I just love this for foundation. So as you see, I'm doing two brush motions. I'm doing more of a swipe and pat. And then also a circular motion. in the areas that are a little bit more hyperpigmented and areas where I may have some blemishes or some you know bumps I just do the light circular motions to just blend it out in areas that may not need a lot of coverage but I still want them to look very flawless and I want my face to look uniform And you often want to take that under your eyes as well. I know some people may not like putting foundation under their eyes and then putting concealer on top, but I have deep set eyes, so I try to make sure that I even out my skin tone as much as I can when I'm doing my makeup. And so here is the face. And just look how hydrated my face looks, you know. And so I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup and then I'll be right back. And we'll go ahead and jump to the contour, concealer, and all of that good stuff. So we have the eye makeup done, the lashes on, and now it's time to finish up the face. And if you guys look at my foundation, it still looks bomb. I mean, it still looks hydrated. It's not separating and... It's just bulletproof, okay? So for the concealer that I'm going to be using, the first one is True Match Concealer, and it is a medium deep. The reason that I love this concealer is because it has an orange undertone to it, which cancels out any darkness that I may have that is seeping through my foundation. But this foundation did a pretty good job of covering up that darkness. So I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes because I do have hollow deep set eyes so I want to try to conceal those and hide them away as much as I can. And then for some reason it feel, it looks like I have a unibrow and yes if I let my brows go out of, grow out crazy I will get one but I do have this darkness here that I also like to add a little bit of extra coverage to it just conceals that up and just you know I don't look like I got a unibrow okay I don't know why I got a unibrow Thank you. 
So I'm going to add a little bit more color variation to my face because it's definitely really flat right now. And first I'm going to start off with some contour. Now in fall, I love to use cream contour because I just believe it soaks better into the skin and it just wears better on the skin. To our point, we want to hydrate. So a cream is going to be more hydrating to your skin than a powder. Now don't get me wrong, okay? We are going to be using a powder to set, but underneath we want it to be nice and moisturized. So I'm going back into my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, and I am going to be going into the colors of cinnamon and chocolate together, and we are going to start bronzing up the face. And I'm just using a Morphe, I believe this is a contour brush if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just going to start warming up the face and just bring a little bit more dimension back. And I just love how moisturized my skin looks right now. I mean, it is absolutely insane and I absolutely love it. So let's not forget about that concealer that I put here. I do like to let it sit a little bit just so it'll stay more concentrated in that area. I haven't really blended these out too much. They look very heavy and that's okay. We are going to blend those out but we are going to go on with my concealer and i'm going to concentrate that like i mentioned in those hollow areas forehead the tip and there there as well So I'm going to start by blending out the forehead and we are blending that into that contour color. And also in my opinion, it's just so easy to blend, blend. it is so easy to blend into cream contour shades and I just love the finish that it gives me so I am always excited when fall and winter comes around because all this to my skin is being you know taken up to a whole nother level okay so i'm going back into that brush and then we're just going to go back and forth with that gradient of light and dark and just blend really nicely okay and then often i'm gonna take that same brush that i use for the contour and blend out that on the chin is not going to add any more darkness and then blend out under the eye and i don't know about you guys but i take it up a notch in the fall okay in the fall is probably when I am going to be most beat because, you know, I'm hot natured. So, you know, wearing a lot of makeup in the summer is just not my thing, okay? It's just not something that I like to do. I sweat very easily and, you know, I don't have time to be wearing heavy makeup. Um, but, you know, some people wear heavy makeup year round, honey. I'm not that girl. But in the fall, I'm definitely taking it up a notch. So now I'm going to go with back over with the brush I use for foundation and I'm just going to 
blend out that contour now it's time to set and I'm always going to be setting my face with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. You guys, this powder is absolutely amazing. If you do not have it, you need to go pick it up. It's good for us brown girls and I use the light on my highlighted areas and I use the dark to kind of set my face and bring a little bit more warmth back into it. But it is absolutely amazing, you guys. It is so lightweight and you know it has the light powder is not white it has more of a cream shade to it so if you are my skin tone I definitely know that you know obviously you can see now that it's going to work wonders and it's not going to be too bright but honestly for my brown deeper toned girls I definitely think it can work for you as well especially those who have more of a beige undertone to their skin you know or for those who just you know want to look a little bit more bright i definitely think you should pick this up sis okay going in with my deep like i mentioned and i'm using that to set the rest of my face now like i mentioned you know we are going for a dewy look but when you are wanting to set your face and still be moisturized underneath and still have that nice glow use a powder that isn't heavy like when you look at my skin you still see you know glowiness you still see that my face is moisturized you know like the powder isn't sucking up all of the moisture out of my face that's the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed if you are new here and you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the MDD family I definitely got more content coming from you guys and if you guys have suggestions leave them down in the comment section below and if you are already part of the family you joined me today you already know that I appreciate you and thank you so smooches booze and I'll see you guys on the next video bye watching today i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the mdd family like and share this video with your friends your family your associates and i'll see you guys on the next video bye